Okay, grade ones, we are doing whiteboards. So what you need is either a paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a marker. And you are putting your window on with three lines in each, just like in school. It should look like this. You can pause the video if you need more time. So you're putting the beginning, middle, and end sound. Let's start with cat. Okay, cat, we get our arm out. Let's get our arms out, grade one. We do each sound. K at cat. Now write it in the first square, cat. K at. I'm gonna show you, so if you need more time, pause. C A T cat. I need a rhyming word with cat. Think what rhymes with cat? Tell me. Did you just say hat? I hope you did. Hopefully, someone said hat. Your word is hat. Let's get our arms out. At hat. Put hat on your board. I'm about to show you the answer, so pause if you need more time. Here's hat, H-A-T. All right, number three is sit. Say sit. Let's get our arms out. S-I-T, sit. <clears throat> Put it on your board. It has a sight word in it. I'm going to show you the answer. Always pause if you need more time. Sit. S-I-T. Sit. What is a word that rhymes with sit? Sit. Mitt. Great word. We're going to do mitt. Get your arms out. M-I-T. Mitt. Put it on your board if you didn't already. Here is mitt, M-I-T. If you have a whiteboard, erase it. If you're working on a piece of paper, flip it over because uh, we are going to do some magic E words. <clears throat> Starting with sit. So we just spelt sit, so spell it again. Put a magic E on and that magic rainbow. And on the count of three, you're gonna tell me the new word. So it's not sit anymore, or I. It's gonna say I. So on the count of three, tell me the word. One, two, three. Sight. Good work. Okay. Um, erase your T. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, because you <clears throat> might not have a whiteboard. Um, so just underneath, let's do another word. Let's do hat. So spell hat. So if you don't have a whiteboard, it might look like this because you have sight. Now you have another one. And add a magic E. And then do a magic rainbow. And tell me the word on the count of three. One, two, three. The word is hate. Last one. We are going to do cub. So if you have a whiteboard, you can erase it or you can just put it right underneath. Cub like this, K -a -b. put your magic E, your magic rainbow, pause if I'm going too fast, 
And on the count of three, tell me the word. One, two, three. Cube. Okay, we are moving on. So you don't need your paper anymore or your whiteboard. We are going on a TH hunt, okay? So here are the rules for that. First of all, make the sound that TH makes. Remember, they are those rude people that stick their tongue out. Stick your tongue out. And not too far. Don't go like, because that's too hard. You just stick your tip of your tongue between your teeth and then blow air. Okay? So this is what TH looks like. This is what it sounds like. So what you get to do is you go around your whole house and you collect anything that you see TH on. You put it all in one spot and then you're going to take a picture of it. Here are the rules for this. When you're hunting around your house for something with TH and if you look in the fridge and you find um, a sauce that has TH in it, you take it out and you put it on the table and then you go to your room and you get a book that has TH in it, you put it on the table, then you go to your Lego and you find something you all put on the table. When you're done, everything needs to go back in the exact place that you found it. So you can't say like, Ah, oh, mom, you dad, brother, dog, please put this away from me. Mm -mm. If you take it out for the hunt, you have to put it exactly where you found it. So Miss McDonald only found two things, but I only hunted for one minute. So if you want to hunt around for more, you can. So I found a book that says the, so I have TH right there. And then I found something that doesn't have a TH on it, but it's called a thermos. And I know that that's TH. So what I would do is I take my thermos, I take my book, and then I take a picture of it on Seesaw and send it. Okay? So you can find two things. Maybe you can find more. Maybe you can find ten things. Okay? So once you find them all, you take a picture and send it to Miss McDonald so I can see how many TH things I find or you can find in your house. Now that I'm done, do I just leave these things wherever? In the bathroom? On the floor? No, I go put it away. I put this away in the bookshelf, put this away where the thermoses go, and then everything is cleaned up, and that is how it works. Promise me you'll put everything away? Okay, have fun hunting for TH, and I'm interested to see what you can find in your house.